Doe? Faria. Faria? Isn't that the person that Avakir guy Shh. was... But why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years in living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you! If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim! What the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else! You're just a coward! Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the Crown Contest, and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid.
What's this thing? Yeah, it must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renans sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it... is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <laughs> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority, and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect in a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less, she would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. 
frank as always. But I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. I still wanted to say thank you. I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. Say we check back in on the ranch. Check. and tastes just as good. Well, how's it taste? The meat is just the right texture and firmness. 
You can easily taste all of the ingredients that went into it. I'm impressed you can cut up such a huge fish. The basic procedure doesn't really change whether a fish is big or small. All it takes is practice. Still, I feel a little bad eating this fish. It's supposed to be a pretty rare species, isn't it? I'm the type who fishes for food first and foremost. Once I catch something, I cook it up with care so it doesn't go to waste. Don't worry, I took an imprint of it for posterity before I turned it into steak. The meat is so thick. It almost reminds me a little of beef. What's the difference? Isn't it all meat at the end of the day regardless of where it comes from? Says the guy who always complains about it not being red meat whenever we have fish. Look, as long as it tastes good, I don't care what it is. Even vegetables? I'm talking about meat! It looks thick because that's how big the fish was. There's still plenty to go around, so feel free to have more if you want it. Sure, I'll take another slice. Ah, uh, better grab it while you can, everyone. Damn it! Lenigus soldiers! Any way we can avoid fighting them? That all depends on them. Whatever happens, be ready. Well, so much for them not wanting to fight. Oh! I am Lord Dohalim of Elder Men and Fear. I command you! The rest of the city must be erased! No. Have they been brainwashed too? Brainwashed or not? If they want to fight, they got one. It's almost too strong! Be my guest! Fight the ocean! The enemy wields arts too! You'll soon see about that! Don't suffer in silence! Shockwave strike! Astral energy! Full throttle! Soldiers seem different from the citizens we've come across so far. Yeah, they weren't big talkers, that's for sure. They just attacked without warning. They weren't in the least bit phased by Dohalim's presence either. Indeed, they seemed to recognize us as enemies, nothing more. And yet, traditionally, Lenigus hasn't been high on threats. A few frenzied zoogles during experiments here and there, but not much else. Their glazed-over eyes reminded me of the soldiers and slaves we met back in Ganeth Haros. The ones in blind devotion to Volron. I've never seen anything like that here on Lenigus before. Maybe someone doesn't want us here, and the soldiers are their way of letting us know. What with the Red Woman, the Sovereign, and Volron, we're starting to develop quite the growing list of adversaries. At least we'll know to keep our wits about us. Take this! Oh, Luna Corrosion! This one's mine! Take this! You'll 
reflexes will not serve you well, please. Go for it! Prepare to crumble! I'll heal you all! Air Healing Be Winds of Heaven! Crush! 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 around. Retreat if you know... What's good for you? You think that shield will save you? Bring him down! An astral art? That's my cue! Shut him down! Ready? 
In a bind? Dragon Swarm! It's too fast! Take it! This one's mine! Take this! This is it! Take 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 this ends now! Consider yourself finished! This should come in handy when crafting weapons. Go no further! Oh, you got In a bind? I won't show you any mercy! No do it! Oh, it. This one's got your name on it! Ash to ash! A chain no. between heaven and our field! Uh, a Ignite. well champion of light! Evil way! Ready Look here. I'm ready! It's all safe! This one's got your name on it! Ash to ash! No! Take this! Empty! Thrust! In a bind! No escape! Luna Corruption! Sword Ray Alpha! Watch them! Everyone hanging in there? Those soldiers don't seem to have any qualms about attacking on sight. Is someone making them stand guard over the Forbidden Zone?
We've reached our destination. Ready and ready! 
How much longer will our healing arts last? our destination. Checked your equipment lately? Never miss! Do 
Prepare to crumble! Glacial Mortimer! Here's the evil! No escape! Dragon Swarm! Dead Lantern! Dead Dance in the wind! Be still! Moon out of the Looks like we won. Looks like we made it here in one piece.